A good steak joke is a rare medium well done, but jokes about German sausage are the worst. W R U R S T like. Andrew, you like yep. dra you like dragons? Because yeah. in a minute I'll be dragging my balls across your face. <laughs> There's a guy out in the woods and with his buddy and they're hunting, and the one guy goes to shoot a deer and he misses. He hit his friend and he goes up and his friend's not breathing. He calls 911. He says. 911, oh my gosh, I shot my friend. I, I think he's dead. And the, and the woman says, calm down, calm down. We need you to do, okay, I need you to do a few things for me. First, we need to make sure that your friend is actually dead. So the guy says, he goes, okay, I'll be right back. You hear a gunshot on the other side of the line. She go, he comes back, okay, it's done, what's next? I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. You wanna hear something even worse? I had a buddy who was addicted to brake fluid, but he said he could stop anytime. So after 20 years of marriage, uh, Lady turns on the light doing sex with her husband and she finds out that he's been using a dildo on her for these past 20 years. And then she goes, explain the dildo, prick. She's like, explain the kids, bitch. Get it? Dad says to his son, son, you gotta stop masturbating. The son says to his dad, dad, I'm over here. <laughs> you missed the line. Ah, damn it. the line. Come on. Gotta make sure Talking about my grandmother, my brother said, gold digging bitches end up in ditches. Dad says to his son, son, you gotta stop masturbating because you're gonna go blind. And the son says to his dad, dad, I'm over here. So, how do you circumcise a hillbilly? How? You kick his sister in the jaw. <laughs> so, I used to have a cross-eyed teacher. Um, she ended up getting fired. She just couldn't control her pupils. <laughs> <laughs> a scientist walks into the bar and he sits down and he says to the barman, I'd like to order a drink for myself and the beautiful woman beside me. The barman sets down two drinks and the woman's not there and the guy drinks the first one and he leaves. Comes back the next day, same thing. I'd like to order two beers, one for myself and the beautiful woman beside me. Same thing happens, and uh, the third day, the scientist comes back, and the, and the barman says, listen, wh why do you keep g letting yourself get stood up? He says, oh, I'm not getting stood up. See, in physics, there's this thing, uh, an uncertainty, that at any moment, some sort of matter could instantaneously appear. So it's a possibility that if I order a drink and uh, a beautiful woman will just appear beside me. And the barman says, well, that seems highly unlikely. Well, why don't you, you know, order a drink for one of the many beautiful women in here? Maybe they'll talk to you and like you. And he said, yeah, but what's the probability of that happening? Um, so there's, there's four men in a boat, and they're trying to have a smoke, but they don't have any lighters or matches. Um, so they, they threw a cigarette overboard, and the whole boat became a cigarette lighter. So a guy walks into a bar. And he sees this little guy tapping on the piano, I mean, really going to town on this thing. He walks to the barman, he says, hey, uh, what's that guy's story? He says, forget about it, don't worry about it for now. Listen, I got this magic lamp, and if you rub it, you get one wish. Would you like to give it a try? And the guy said, yeah, sure, great. So he rubs it, he says, I wish for a million bucks, and a million ducks fly by the window. And he says, what's up with that? I, I wish for a million dollars, not for a million ducks to fly by. And the guy said, well, you really think I wish for a 12-inch pianist? Whoever stole my Microsoft Office is in big trouble. You have my word. I'm